naming names to his cabinet earlier than any other president-elect and establishing an economic team clearly signal that Barack Obama is prepared to act swiftly to cure the dangerously ill economy. That from one of Obama's inner circle today. He's ready to go on day one, January 20. As I say, he's coming in with yeah. a bang. The bang? A proposed multi-billion dollar stimulus package. But it will be a two-year nationwide effort to jumpstart job creation in America. Broadly outlined in a weekend address by Mr. Obama, the goal is to create two and a half million jobs by putting Americans to work, building roads and bridges and refurbishing schools. So-called green jobs would be created in alternative energy projects and the development of fuel efficient vehicles. Middle and low income Americans would get immediate tax cuts and despite his campaign promise, I'm not going to give tax breaks to the wealthiest among us. I want to give tax breaks to middle class families. Mr. Obama is also said to be considering leaving in place the Bush tax cuts for the wealthy. By all accounts, the plan's price tag will be big. The only question is, how big? I think it has to be deep. I would, my view, it has to be between five and seven hundred billion dollars. Economist Peter Morisi says getting people back to work is critical, but merely a first step. We need other policies as well to fix what is structurally broken in the American economy. The banks, trade with China, and our oil import dependence. Fixing all that could actually get a head start. After all, Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson and his replacement Timothy Geithner have been on the same team on bailout plans for months now. Uh, Paulson is eager to hear from him, and so I think that the Obama administration can begin on Tuesday morning, if it chooses to, on economic policy. The markets are expected to react positively to the new economic team. The question is how long the bounce will last. A new stimulus package is one thing. Fixing some fundamentals, Russ, is another. Thay Ashura to the White House. Thank you very much.